And so versatile, both on offense and defense. Carter Booth gets it done on both sides of the game. She stands at 6'7", so both offensively and defensively, she is huge for the Badgers. Well, if you're new to Big Ten Volleyball, this is the best match to be showcasing here as we get you to first serve. Gooch to kick will lead us off. the big block of the Badgers and again tip defended right on cue Carter Booth this is exactly what we wanted for this matchup Minnesota Wisconsin we knew coming in it was going to be a huge defensive battle Minnesota relies on that backcourt defense the Badgers rely on that big block up front System, what a spot. Grote oh, goes big on the pin, and Wisconsin battles through for a 2 nothing lead. What Wisconsin does so well is in these long rallies, transition plays become so important. The outside hitters are getting a lot of those swings. Wisconsin really capitalizes on those attacks out of system. Will Jay Gooch to kick out of Turkey on a 2 0 run. McKenna Wolfer is housed by who else but Sarah Franklin. There's that big Badger block coming alive again. It's not just the middles for Wisconsin that are so lethal up front. Everyone gets a little taste of it. That serve is long, and Minnesota survives it. Over on Min uh, Wisconsin side, Kelly Sheffield. He boasts an 8.28 win percentage, Emily, in 10 years at the helm of Wisconsin. That's the highest win percentage of any Wisconsin volleyball coach. He builds such an incredible culture anywhere he goes. And has not changed here in Madison. Carter Booth goes big, and what a step on the side of Minnesota. Phoebe Awalea in the middle, and she needs to be big for her team, especially defensively. Awalea has been big for this Minnesota team because she makes reads like that at the last second, can drop her hands right where the hitter wants to go. Tight pass, well defended. Lydia Grote, once more, she's been so good for this Minnesota team, fearless. She's been fearless on both sides of the ball. Offensively, she's not afraid to take a big rip. Defensively, she puts up a stifling block on the right side. Julia Hansen stands at 6-1. She's serving into the net. She goes. So the Badgers take back a one-point lead over on Minnesota side. Coach Keegan Cook in his first year at the helm of Minnesota, replacing Hugh McCutcheon after his 11-year career. And he spent the last eight seasons coaching the University of Washington. And a 780 win percentage there when he finished off that tenure. Izzy Ashburn sets up. Devin Robinson on the pin. And Devin Robinson, she had some injuries this season, but she seems to be back in full throttle for the Badgers. Robinson is back in better than ever. And if you don't know her name, you better learn it because she's going to get a lot of sense tonight. And she has the ability to take over matches for Wisconsin. Ojo with a big serve, finding the seam. That's Landfair. We talked about her at the top of the show. She's so good at attacking the block in front of her. Taylor Landfair has such good court vision. She can see that big block in front of her. If she sees that line open, she'll rip it down the line. She sees cross court, she'll take a big rip there too. Kylie Murr, the red shirt senior libero for Minnesota. Transferred out of Ohio State. That's a big float serve. Rescued by Franklin. What a play for Wisconsin. Lindsay Ashburn over to Robinson. Landfair in trouble. Franklin sprawls out defensively. Robinson gets stuffed, and Minnesota with a huge response early. Five all. 
What a big read from Erica Davis, the middle, closing to her outside, Taylor Landfair. In this situation, Robinson was the only player to get the game. The block could release early and shut it down. Kylie Murr, an All-American libero. Look at this serve. She finds the seam so effortlessly. Sarah Franklin, so physical. That's a nice dig from Kylie Murr, as fiery as they come. And Franklin finds the top of the block. Libero Kylie Murr from Minnesota side is one of the most fun liberos to watch because of how scrappy she is and how fiery she plays. She can dig a ball within about 10 feet of her because she's so quick and explosive. MJ Hamill back to serve for Wisconsin. The atmosphere electric here inside the field house. Nice jig from Hamill. from Frank the Tank. This ball <laughs> left way inside. Sarah Franklin has the ability to go up and inside the blockers. By turning that right thumb down, she can hit this nasty cross-court shot. Averaging almost four kills per set. That's top 10 in the Big Ten for Sarah Franklin. <laughs> ball deflected out of bounds. Taylor Landfair. They adjusted the tempo of her set to the pin. That seems to be resolving some issues she's had earlier on this season. And this set's still pretty quick out to the pin, but not as quick as it was last year. Lightning fast with how athletic and tall Lanfair is. They got it a little bit higher for her to use that athleticism. That was a big serve from Lydia Grote, getting Wisconsin out of system, out of the gate. Shaftmaster finds the middle. Erica Davis, no dice. Badgers back on top by two. Early in set, setter Melanie Shaftmaster loves to get those middles going. Establishing them as a threat opens things up for some of her other pin hitters because it draws blockers in, resulting in some seams for the pins. She's fourth in the Gopher history all time with over 3,500 career assists. So physical. Franklin back to serve for the Badgers. What a jump float serve we saw. That was an emphasis for Kelly Sheffield coming into the match, was serving. Service pressure is so important against a team like Minnesota that runs that fast offense. If you can take away that speed, the only way to do that is serving them out of system. Franklin tra transferred from Michigan State a couple of years ago to the Badgers. That's a nice tip from Shaftmaster. She has that offensive ability to get going on her side. Shaftmaster loves this deep push to the back corner. Wisconsin honed in on this during film. They said, we know that Shaftmaster, if she's tight, she'll push it back there. Middle back has to stay deep and read those plays better. Melanie Shaftmaster, 12 double doubles this season. She stands at six foot three, and one thing Keegan Cook told us was her defense has also been outstanding at six three. You don't always expect that to be the case. MJ Hamill finds Tammy Thomas Ilara and a big put away on a double block. Tammy Thomas Ilara, a major addition to this Wisconsin team. She played four years at Northwestern. She was a star there. She got almost every single set, but now she's on a Wisconsin team that is very balanced. She doesn't get as many sets, but when she does, she puts it away. Oh, Cece Crawford getting Minnesota out of system there with a the float serve that just died off after the 10-foot line. And a timeout is called by Minnesota. Keegan Cook looking to gather his team, the Big Ten. Wisconsin and Minnesota, Emily, have won five Big Ten championships in the last 10 years, among several other stats that have been significantly impressive. Minnesota and Wisconsin, two programs that are always in contention for that Big Ten title, always go deep in the tournament. And that's what makes this matchup so exciting. Not only is it a rivalry, but it's two great programs. Oh, Shaftmaster. That is one of the dangers. Wisconsin calls that shot the peekaboo. <laughs> she that dumps ball. it behind her head. Yeah, right behind her head. It's so difficult as a defender to pick this up because you see that hand go up and you think it's going to the middle of the court. But what she does is turn her hand to the back and go right behind her head where there is no defender in sight. And that's what six foot three earns you when you jump set often. What a pass from Carter Booth in the middle. Ilara finds the empty corner. A unique serve receive. 
choice for Carter Booth. Love it. Yeah, they practice this every day. Middles also have to be able to pass so they can run that great offense. Temi Thomas Ilara, that's one of the best shots you can have as a left outside attacker going back to that deep corner because you're almost always splitting defenders in the backcourt. Izzy Ashburn back to serve. Big Vikings fan. She's certainly happy with the results of the NFL game that came before us. Minnesota native. Awalea puts it away. Kelly Sheffield was looking to get involved in the defense. Minnesota right away making it a point to get those middles going. Even a push about six feet off the net. A good platform, Kelly. All right. <laughs> Chalk it up as a dig. Melanie Schaffmaster back to serve, finds the line. This is the best serving team in the Big Ten, Minnesota. You can tell Wisconsin's feeling it. Oh, Carter Booth. That is why she is the best blocker in the league. Carter Booth with a stifling block up front. This is what makes her so great. She can make these adjustments, identifying which shot that middle wants to hit, and diving those hands right back into that seam to put it down. She leads the Big Ten in blocks per set. She already has three in set one. Oh, nice play by Guchtekin. Wisconsin couldn't finish it. But the argument on the Badgers' side is that Minnesota contacted that ball above the plane of the net. Keegan Cook doesn't like it. Explain what's happening here, Emily. Yeah, this is when discipline becomes important. Lydia Groda it looked like she might have actually clipped the net on that play. A little bit undisciplined, hands too far over the net. It looked like she got a fingertip coming the way down. Yeah, we have a challenge here by Keegan Cook. He didn't look too confident on it. Well, Keegan That's Cook maybe thought that that might have been the ball coming down rather than Lydia Groda's fingertips as we take a look. If any part of your hand touches that net on the way down, which by that look, it looks like that left hand comes back through. If any part of your body, your hand, your arm, yeah, any part of you Looks touches like that, the tape. yeah, any part of you touches that top of that tape, it's an automatic point for the other side. Unless it's your hair, hair's fine in the net. <laughs> Lydia Grove, a 6'2 senior out of Burbank, California, transferred to Minnesota from Cal. And we're hearing they're also evaluating whether or not that pancake did in fact make it up, and I believe that Guchtigan got it, live anyway. That play looked clean. Guchtigan's hand looked like it was under. Call is confirmed. Call stands, and Wisconsin earns a scrappy point. How about the effort of Gulje Guchtigan out of Turkey? That's what makes these littles so good. That's they can right. get under almost any single ball. from Guchtekin. Oh, Sarah Franklin, so physical. Murr with a dig. Sarah Franklin goes again, this time down the line, tools the block in a 15-9 lead. Sarah Franklin showing her range up front. She got dug one play before. Kylie Murr stepping in there on a very tough cross-court shot. One of the best liberos in the entire country. Franklin, though, switching up her second shot, going for those high fingertips out of bounds. McKenna Wooker showing off against a double block. McKenna Wooker is so good because she can do it on both pins, whether she's on the outside where she normally lines up or in the rotation where she swings on the right. She adjusts that arm swing so well to keep that ball in bounds and use a little bit of speed with it. Julia Hansen back into serve for the Gophers. What a pass from Ojo. There's Devin Robinson again on the right side attack. Bettering the ball is so important in volleyball. If that pass is okay, it's the setter's job to make that set better. If that set isn't perfect, it's the hitter's job to try to put it away. Great adjustment from Devin Robinson. This ball way too far to her right. She adjusted that arm swing, managed the swing, and got the kill. Second kill of the set for Robinson. Ojo with the serve for Wisconsin. Sarah 
Franklin, it's a tool she's hard to defend because where do you camp out when she can hit every aspect of the court? It's so difficult because she can hit any shot in the book. She's really using that high hand tool shot, swinging confident high right at those fingertips. Four kills for Sarah Franklin as we check in now with some media day footage of how these two teams felt about playing on the biggest stage here on Fox. I think it's going to be really cool. I think for us, like, the main thing to focus on is, like, we're just going to be playing Wisconsin at Wisconsin. I think maybe a little bit before we'll be really, really excited when we see all the stuff getting set up or whatever. Obviously, we have, we're going to Wisconsin to play a game, so I think that's probably going to be our focus, yeah. I kind of agree. Like, the same thing. It's going to be really cool. We have to focus on just the game when, it, when the time comes, but, I mean, before, I'm going to be all geeked <laughs> out about it because I think it's super cool, so, yeah. It's about time. Uh, and uh, you know it's kind of what what took us so long to, to do that uh, it's, it's but it's also exciting it's uh, I think uh, I don't think in person there's a better sport to watch in person cameras have been able to show some of the, the touches and, and the close plays I think uh, people are going to be able to see the sport that haven't been focused on it much and they're going to see possibility so yeah, if you're not on the Big Ten volleyball wagon yet, what are you waiting for? Check out some of these numbers, Emily. 92,000 fans in attendance for the Nebraska volleyball game earlier this season. 17,000 for the Badgers. They've been a part of three top seven single match national attendances this season. That's what you get in the Big Ten. You get some of the best fan bases in the country and some of the best volleyball in the country. That's what makes this so exciting. That's why viewership records are being shattered in attendance records, because everyone wants to get in on the action on a seat open here in the field house Osho with a dig Ashburn with a lofty set to Franklin who finds it out to Grote what a dig for Osho Shaftmaster goes middle and Awalea with the tip well defended by Wisconsin and in comes Robinson for her third kill the set. What we're seeing is how important backcourt defense is on both sides. These incredible ups to not only get the ball up, but put the setter in a good position to try to make a good play out of this and run a balanced offense. Wisconsin is winning the transition game. Ojo with the jump float serve into the net. They are aggressive with their serving. The Badgers, they're okay with some of those misses. The only advice for Kelly Sheffield and Scout this morning was get after it. Go for it and get after it to his serving crew. Atmosphere pretty much says it all. CeCe Crawford. Kelly Sheffield said inch for inch, she's the best blocker in the nation. It's funny when you think of a middle being 6'3", you think they're so tall, but on this Wisconsin team, it's not even that <laughs> tall. It's not their average height when you have Carter Booth, 6'7", Anna Smrak, 14 yeah. in white, checking into the game at 6'9", but inch for inch, she's one of the best blockers <laughs> they have. Yeah, she's not small, 6'2", but you have Smrak and Franklin beside you, you look small. Franklin off the block, gets the kill, and a 2011 lead goes to the Badger. And Yulia Orjo, this season she put on the libero jersey for the first time, and she is uplifting this team in so many ways. She gets these impressive ups to where they can still run this offense good out of system. And Sarah Franklin, one of the best at doing it out of system. Yeah, she's originally from Poland. She was discovered by the Badgers, and they were on one of their international trips. And a smack, a little bit of a missed contact, but she'll take the off-speed kill. And a smack is massive for this Wisconsin team. Even in some of those off-speed situations, she does a better job of managing swings. She's been very low error this season from what we've seen over the last few years and really elevated her game in that way to become a go-to for the Badgers. Smack is 6'9", she touches 11-2. And what a block from CeCe Crawford. 
Man, it's tough up there when you got Caroline Crawford next to Anna Smrek, two of the best blockers in the Big Ten. You want to go for that middle because it's a little bit smaller of a block, but CeCe Crawford, man, she'll put it right back at you. The Badgers on a 7-1 run. MJ Hamill looking to finish off set one. Scramble on Minnesota's side. Ojo steps in for the dig and Smrek on the full extension gets stuffed by Lanfair and Davis. Taylor Lanfair, although she's an outside, normally that's the weakest blocking position, but she's done an incredible job this year elevating her defensive game up front and really becoming one of the better blockers for this Minnesota team. Lydia Groat back to serve for the Gophers. What a pass from Guchtekin. And a good defensive scramble, but a rocket of an arm swing over on Minnesota's side. Finds the hole. With how physical this Wisconsin team is, Minnesota beats them with speed. So yeah, they might have a big block in front of them, but with how fast the offense is, they're still able to go through the seams. Lydia Grote looking to make a run for it for Minnesota. Short float serve, handled by Crawford. Franklin goes corner again. Minnesota pushes to the outside land fair on the attack. MJ Hamill now to Franklin, who gets it between the blockers. Melanie Schaffmaster looked frustrated after that block. And Minnesota's having such difficulty defending Sarah Franklin because Franklin's going up and over the blockers. They're trying to get a touch, try to slow it down a little bit, but Franklin's just bringing the heat. Franklin is back to serve. We have a remarkable story on her when we get a moment and a timeout, so stay tuned for that. What a serve for Franklin, gets the ace and set point for the Badgers. It's been service pressure for the beginning from the Badgers, just trying to pick apart that Minnesota service Eve. Six kills for Franklin on the set so far. And another big serve for her outside of the pin. Landfair looking for something, anything to get her offense going. Ilara goes up big and nails it on the cut shot. Wisconsin takes set one. One of the best college towns in America. And one of the best volleyball college towns as well. They sell out regularly. Even Winnie the Pooh in the house. So set number two upon us, and the Gophers looking for a big response. Set one went to Wisconsin. They were firing on all cylinders. We'll get to that in just a moment. Melanie Schaffmaster back to serve first for Minnesota. Carter Booth says no for now. Point number one goes to the Badgers. Right away, Wisconsin establishes their middle attacker because they want to open things up for some of their other pin hitters. Early in sets, expect both sides to go to that. Julia Ojo back to serve. Into the net she goes. Tie game early. Julia Hansen will come in for the Gophers. So what do you do if you're Minnesota when you have Sarah Franklin hitting 400, Wisconsin at 22 digs in the first set and five blocks? The biggest thing is just managing the game, both offensively and defensively. Offensively, they have to be less error. They had eight kills, nine errors just in that set. Defensively, they have to get touches. It's a big dig from Hansen. Finding the middle of the floor was Taylor Landfair pointing to the defense of Hansen, who set up the play. Look, it's difficult to put a ball down on this Wisconsin team with how big the block is and how good the backcourt is. Minnesota has to get just a little bit more crafty in some of their attacks, just as Taylor Landfair did. Big block for Phoebe Awalea. Looking to turn the tide here, an early two-point lead. Julia Hansen, by the way, her brother plays baseball in the Cincinnati Reds organization. Drafted in the third round there. Sarah Franklin goes big off the block. One of the deepest kills you'll see. 
Sarah Franklin's been doing this all day so far, hitting those high hands on Minnesota's side. It's making it really difficult for the Gophers to transition because the, the ball is either going out of bounds or really high behind the defenders. Make that seven kills for Sarah Franklin. MJ Hamill serving now. Wisconsin runs a 6-2. Hamill, one of the two setters. Franklin finds the seam of the Minnesota block again. They can't seem to figure her out defensively. Sarah Franklin's mixing up her shots well. That's why Minnesota can't figure it out. We've seen her rip some balls, go at those high fingertips. And this ball, it's an out of system. She knows she's got a big block in front of her. Just an easy roll shot to the middle of the court. Nice pass from Murr. Chapmaster goes middle again. Franklin stuffed. Free ball, anybody can have it. And then Franklin goes down the line for her ninth kill of the match. Sarah Franklin's the hot hand for Wisconsin. Don't expect them to go away from her anytime soon. She's getting this crowd hyped up, getting her team hyped up. In plays like this, even when you think the ball might be down, Wisconsin finds ways to keep it alive. And in transition, they're able to convert. Franklin again. Landfair's there. Schaffmaster throws it back. And it works. Minnesota back to tie the game at four. Minnesota making that adjustment, putting Lauren Crowell in that right side position, probably because they want just a little bit bigger of a block to try to slow down an attacker like Sarah Franklin. They need something to figure out the Stifling offense of Sarah Franklin. A big serve is one of them. That's a big dig from Murr. Can Minnesota keep it alive? No, they can't. Sarah Franklin. Nine kills, zero errors, 19 swings so far. Franklin has won the last four Wisconsin points. You can put up two blockers. You can put up three blockers on her. She will find a way to put the ball down. A heated discussion ensuing on the court between Keegan Cook and the down referee. Franklin is in the back row, which is good news for Minnesota. That's Landfair. That block is out of bounds. And that is the spark that Minnesota needs. Chai game, five off. Big tool for Minnesota on that ball. Taylor Landfair has one of the quickest snap downs. As a blocker, you have to get in front of that. Get your hands up just a little bit sooner if you're trying to go up against her. In comes Elise McGee, the backup senior setter out of Kansas City, Missouri for Minnesota. That's a nice defensive play from McGee to set up Landfair who gets stuffed because that is a big wall of a block when you have Anna Smrek in front of you. So difficult because in this position, Smrek is playing middle, so she's taking away that cross-court shot that Landfair wants to go to. It's a big wall for her to hit around. Especially when you got a 6'9 player up there, it becomes a little bit more difficult. It, it, the TV angle doesn't do it justice, just how physical of a player Anna Smrek is. And Kelly Sheffield told us that she would be the best hitter in the world, Anna Smrek. Unfortunately, thinks it's outside of the Wisconsin timeline, but believes that she has that kind of ability, takeover ability. Smart decision from Taylor Landfair going off, identifying the middle had just served on Wisconsin side, meaning she's playing back row defense. She's probably not going to pick up that easy roll shot to the middle of the court. High IQ player. Taylor Landfair back to serve Wooker, back in the front row for Minnesota, trailing by one. It's a good pass from Franklin, bailing out, and Anna Smrek, there's that physicality. Good luck putting up a block, she can hit over it. Yeah, there's not much you can do when a 6'9 girl is going up and ripping balls right down the line. Even with a well-formed block up there, she has the ability to go up and over it. And if you're in that backcourt, you better be in a good position because that ball is coming at you quick. Her father played basketball six years in the NBA, won two NBA championships with the LA Lakers. 
athleticism in that family and Wisconsin rattling off three points they're up three there's a good look at Anna Smrek she comes from good genes I'd say and now we know where her blocking genes come from as well battle back that's a big swing from Lanfair the defending Big Ten player of the year what a shot that's crafty from McKenna Walker looking to get her team going Minnesota needs to continue to be more crafty and find different shots they can't just aim right at the block in front of them because it's big it's physical you have to find ways around it whether that's throwing in off speeds or attacking the edges look at how tall Smrek is compared to her teammates on the screen unbelievable physicality serve is long Zinep with the serve out of Turkey and there's Anna Smrek again towering over the top of her team. She doesn't need a front row seat. <laughs> Not only is Anna Smrek very tall and physical, but she's so athletic, and she's turning into a really good volleyball player because she's not only getting up and getting big kills, she's managing the junk really well, and not just managing those swings. She's now able to kill the ball in tough situations, which is something we haven't seen from her in years past. Gooch again has a weapon of a serve. That one was long for Wisconsin. The Gophers back in it down to in comes Crowell once more for the right side attacking position trying to mix it up Melanie Shackmaster back to serve that's a good float serve from Shaftmaster beautiful serve from Shaftmaster it was a very clean ball meaning it's flat and clean it's catching those air pockets because it has almost no spin on it dropping right in front of the passer it's, it's difficult to make that last second adjustment an aggressive serve once more from Shaftmaster Franklin finally makes an error it feels like she's batting a thousand here Sarah Franklin's first error of the night. She was hitting 500 up until that point. But that's what happens when you have a well-formed block in front of her. She has to hit shots that she doesn't want to hit. That ball going out of bounds. Melanie Schaffmaster on a run with a lethal jump float serve. at another Ojo. Gets a hold of it. Devin Robinson on the pin. And that is it good for the Badgers to have her back fully healthy. Robinson is huge for this Wisconsin team, especially when this ball, like it was, pushed all the way outside. She adjusts to it so well, and she's got a nasty top ball right down that line. 100th career match played today. Devin Robinson, she was one of the Iron Badgers, hadn't missed a match up until that injury a couple weeks ago. Crowell finds the corner. And she's been a difference maker since making an appearance in the match for Minnesota. Lauren Crowell's been big stepping in. She's getting block touches on defense. Offensively, a really smart shot for her, not going right into the block, but testing the edges and going for fingertips. Lauren Crowell's brother stars on the Wisconsin men's basketball team. You wonder what's going on in that household. Divided house. What allegiance does Steven have, we wonder. That's a good physical attack from Landfair. Shaftmaster goes quick to the middle. Phoebe Awalea looking to put that one away, does it? So Franklin is the answer for Wisconsin as she has been all night long. She is unstoppable. Sarah Franklin is cleaning up the jump ball so well. It's out of system, meaning this ball, she's the only one that can get it. She knows it's a well-formed block in front of her. She's still mixing up those shots beautifully to not manage those swings, but get a kill on it. MJ Hamill back into the lineup, the six foot three senior out of Indiana. Has over 12 aces this season and a recent bout with injury as well on the bend and that's a good serve free ball for Wisconsin Hamill goes back to Smrek what a dig from Kylie Murr that's a big swing from Landfair huge transition play for Minnesota Kylie Murr makes an incredible dig to keep this ball alive Landfair on an out-of-system swing. She's able to go for that high corner shot, one of the best you can have as an outside hitter. Landfair, redshirted her sophomore year, came back with a vengeance. Another big swing from Anna Smrek. Wisconsin's so difficult to stop when you have a player like Anna Smrek, who normally plays on that right side, but she does play middle for a few rotations. So difficult when she goes up there one-on-one. -on -one. Advantage Smrek every time. She's kicking out to the right side this time. Cece Crawford in the middle. And Franklin back to serve, handled by Wooker. 
Quick tempo for Minnesota, handled by Wisconsin. Temi Thomas, Ilara, swings big, goes out, tools the block, and Wisconsin back on top by two. Smart shot from Thomas Ilara up front, seeing the block in front of her, not trying to go right through it, but attack the fingertips out of bounds. Nice pass from Wooker. Schaffmaster throws it back. That ball sails long for Crow. And so the Badgers take a pit. And Minnesota comes back within two. Crowell's been huge checking into this game during set two, managing her swings really well, going at those high hands because she's got that big block in front of her. Her brother Steven is in the house, and we were told that he's wearing a red sweatshirt. Badger red, so his allegiance is with his school. <laughs> Temi Thomas, Cy Lara goes inside the Minnesota block. And when she is rolling, she is a dangerous weapon for this Wisconsin team. She's finding her rhythm with their new team. Wisconsin can, Tammy thomas Taylor can be that X factor for Wisconsin. When she is rolling, it makes that outside even tougher to stop because of how consistent Franklin is as well. Taylor Landfair answers back a defensive grab from Wisconsin, kept alive by McGee. Landfair thought the point was over, so did we. And a huge block comes from Anna Smrek, and the crowd goes wild. Well, this is why you gotta play through the whistle. You never know when this ball is down until you hear that, you have to keep playing. The Badgers did a phenomenal job of that, doing whatever they could to keep this ball alive. Check out how good this up was. Last second, Temi thomas Ilara steps in, gets that pass, forces Minnesota into a tough situation, even on a free ball. The ball's going outside. That big block in front of her, 6'9 and 6'7 combined. Well, if Wisconsin didn't have the momentum already, they certainly have it now. Wisconsin also took a team trip to Turkey this summer. Guchtekin got to show her teammates her hometown over in Europe. And the fans have been electric all day here inside the field house. Here's the trip we we're referencing in 2023. A key member though, Emily, missing from this trip. Sarah Franklin did not make the trip and that choice likely saved her life because a, a miraculous story for her. She was diagnosed with blood clots this summer, about two weeks before Wisconsin took this European tour trip. Sarah Franklin found out that she had blood clots. She had numbness in her middle finger, went through a series of tests, found out the severity of it. Had she went on this flight over to Europe, she might have lost a limb or her life and was told her career in volleyball could be over. She didn't think she was playing volleyball this summer. Here she is back on the stage. She had the best possible outcome after that surgery was performed and they told her best news ever. You're healed and you can play volleyball. What a miraculous story. Sarah Franklin, I mean, and, and she has returned from that, according to Kelly Sheffield, better than ever. Sarah Franklin, so incredible because of not only the physical strain that that takes, but mentally. You miss that trip with your teammates. You have to work your way back to health. She's not only done that, she's better than she was last season. She stepped on the court during their first match, has played the entire season since, and she's making a run for that Big Ten Player of the Year campaign. She got that. Heartbreaking news, 48 hours before her team left for Europe. She had to watch from afar, thinking her career was over. And here she is, paying off our story with a kill, body bagging Minnesota from the back row. Sarah Franklin, a sensational talent, a sensational story. Not only can Franklin do it in the front court, the back court, she is just as lethal. These setters will find her whether she's in that front or the back. more for Wisconsin's Devin Robinson all over the free ball opportunity. Look out. And that all starts from the service pressure. Wisconsin putting in bullets from the end line. 
Izzy Ashburn back to serve for the Badgers, has one of the best serves on the team. And a big dump, Melanie Shackmaster taking matters into her own hands, as she will when she wants her team to get going offensively. Sometimes when they struggle offensively, Melanie Shackmaster goes up. She's just as good of an option up there as some of her attackers because she disguises some of these dumps so well. Devin Robinson off of one foot on the pin. How about versatility for number 10? Devin Robinson makes this offense so dynamic because as an opposite, she'll still run slide attacks, meaning one foot behind the setter, which allows this offense to run multiple quick attacks. When you have the middle coming in on a quick one and that slide attack behind, it is so difficult to defend. Gooch to kid with the serve. Landfair gets it up out of system for Minnesota. No problem for Wooker, not backing down at the moment. Wooker is a fearless player. She goes up, and even if she knows she has a big block in front of her, she uses that cannon of an arm to explode through it. Lauren Kral comes back into the front row, six foot four, a red shirt sophomore. As Melanie Schaffmaster takes back the serve for Minnesota. It's a lethal jump float serve handled by Guchtekin. But look, Sarah Franklin is back into the front row. Free ball for Wisconsin. Devin Robinson says, no problem. I've got this one buried in the back corner. Setter Izzy Ashford knows that if Devin Robinson is heating up, she's got to get Robinson that ball. When she gets fired up, she gets this entire Badger team and the fans fired up. Seven kills for Devin Robinson so far in the match. A key factor in that Nebraska match. The only match Wisconsin has lost this year. The health of Hamill and Robinson coming back into the lineup. They weren't fully there yet. Not to make excuses, of course, Nebraska is still a strong program. But this is a strong-looking, healthy Wisconsin roster. Man, Wisconsin's probably the most physical team in the country right now. With the 6-2 system, they always have three hairs up front. With the height and balance that they have, it's lethal. Big block, there's CC Crawford, inch for inch, big on the block. All of Wisconsin's middles right now making phenomenal reads up front, identifying the shot that Minnesota's middles want to hit, and they're going up and taking away all of those shots. And this showed you just how dominant Wisconsin is, leading the Big Ten in hit percentage, opponent hit percentage, blocks per set, so many different categories. It's not just their offense, it's their defense, and all of it combined that makes this team so lethal. Also outblocked many of their opponents this season. Out of system ball for Wisconsin. Murr goes wide. Crawl finds the opening. The Wisconsin defense so scrappy, they almost got a hold of it. It's a big play for Minnesota. Lauren Crawl has been such a big bright spot for Minnesota since she came in. Melanie Schaffmaster is making it a point to find her. Kylie Murr back to serve the All-American. Libero for Minnesota. She is a staple of this defense and a spark plug as well. Wisconsin loads up. Franklin tried to bury it. Murr's all over it. Landfair goes long and wide and off of Guchtekin gets the point. And they're relying on her a lot. When Minnesota's trying to claw their way back, they will often go to Taylor Landsberg. Whether yeah. she's in that front court or the back, she becomes their go-to. Oh, a short serve attempt from Kylie Murr looking to get Wisconsin on a system. Just drops into the net. How do you avoid becoming too one-dimensional with Taylor Landfair for Minnesota? Well, you know that she goes up and she can provide you a kill, but you have to also open things up for right. her. So you can't become one-dimensional in a sense that all the sets go to her because you have to give her some seams to hit through, which is where that balance becomes important, getting other hitters involved. In other words, the middles need to get going for her to have some openings. And that's a smart tip from Lauren Kral. Drops one in on the Wisconsin defense. They've been pretty much all over everything else. And we have ourselves a close set, 23-20. Have another look at the deception here. Smart decision by Kral to go up, identifying that left back way too far back. Deep float serve for Kral as well. MJ Hamill finds Franklin in the back row. Not the highlight reel kill that we've seen her do 
All match long, she gets one off the tape. 24-20, set point for Wisconsin. Wisconsin in transition. Temi Thomas Ilara gets the touch and the closing kill here in set two. Wisconsin takes it 25 20. Wisconsin rolling on top two sets to nothing in this border battle. Keegan Cook, of course, in his first season as head coach, transitions are always tough, and he harped with us on the call before this to just stay present in the moment, and he invited his team to the challenge, saying this is where you find out what you're made of, and you have an opportunity here at the remainder of the season to make your way to the NCAA tournament. They still can control their destiny. They pull off some big wins for Minnesota. A set three win would put them on the right track. Tevin Robinson defeating those thoughts for now. What a rocket of an arm swing she has. She's got one of the hardest arm swings in the Big Ten. When that set is there, she can absolutely crush it. She's a player that Izzy Ashburn loves to get going early. Eight kills for Devin Robinson, hitting 538 right now. Shaftmaster goes back to Wooker on the pin, matching up against Franklin on the block. Franklin goes over it, looking for the touch. Ball was out, no call made. Do we have a challenge from Sheffield? We do. Kelly Sheffield is challenging that there was a touch, that it was not called the first time. For Wisconsin, it's his first challenge of the match. Both teams have two. This ball initially just called out of bounds, but did it clip fingertips? I don't know, it's so tough to see in slow motion. Every player on Wisconsin side yelled out touch as soon as the ball was contacted. Might have been that inside hand of Awalea, but from that angle. And a touch was indeed called, overturned, and a good challenge for Kelly Sheffield. He gets to keep that challenge to use if he'll need it later on in the match. Guchtekin back to serve. She got to show her team around her hometown in Turkey this summer. Said it was one of the best moments. Family loved it. Orjo with the dig. Franklin out of system, no problem. Dug out by Shaftmaster. And a rocket of a swing from Crawl. McKenna Wooker playing on the right side right now. And Carter Booth goes big. What a dig from Ojo. On the coverage, Shaftmaster looking for the opening. Crawl throws in the tip. No problem for Wisconsin. Devin Robinson, big on the outside, dug out by Shaftmaster again. Here's Wooker. Stops in the arms of Carter Booth. That's what you'll get from two of these teams. Those defensive plays, they fire up this crowd like no other. It's Wisconsin's ninth block of the match. Booth has five of those. Her father spent some time in the NBA as well. Devin Robinson with a big swing. Just long for her. Smart swing from Devin Robinson, trying to attack that line. That's a shot that she loves going down right off of the line, about four or five feet in, just missing it a little bit long, not getting that snap down. Wow. Wisconsin is an unstoppable force. Carter Booth, so physical, so impressive. When Wisconsin can get those middles going, they are so difficult to stop because of how physical they are up front. That's where Minnesota has to get them out of system to take away that middle attack and not even have to worry about it. Ozil with the serve. Wooker handles it. Perfect pass in system. But that ball denied by the block of Crawford and Franklin. 
That's a big block for Minnesota to hit around. What Wisconsin's doing so well is their middles are closing out to the pins. They might see a seam, but the last second, those middles close it up. Yulia Ojo goes short. Murr handles what a one-handed set from Shaftmaster. That was a physical play and a six-foot-three specimen of Melanie Shaftmaster to push that ball all the way to the pin. Such an impressive set. This ball so tight to the net. Shaftmaster has to go up with one hand and get it all the way out. Taylor Landfair bettering that ball to the back corner. 16 assists and 10 digs for Shaftmaster. She leads the Big Ten in double doubles with now 13. What numbers? There's Franklin again. A routine kill for her. Her 15th kill of the match, Emily. Sarah Franklin's bread and butter right over the blocker's hands. She jumps so high. This is what makes her so great. She goes up and over. Even when those blockers are in a good situation, she can handle it. Can you imagine getting news that your volleyball career was done at the age that she was this summer and then coming back? to play this season. And having the season that she is having, I mean, what a she's, whirlwind. She's one of the front leaders for Big Ten Player of the Year. Competitive bliss, that's how she describes what it's like to play on the Big Ten volleyball stage. A block miss that time, though, for Franklin, Minnesota, looking to stay alive here in set three. Kelly Sheffield has talked about how coming back, she's had a new love for the game. She's always yeah. loved the sport, but she's no longer has self-doubt, and she's playing with such joy and such confidence that we didn't see from her in the last few years. McGee with the serve for Minnesota. Oh, and a smack. There's the physicality of the six foot nine. Middle and out, opposite attacker. Wisconsin getting in a threat going on the middle. The one rotation where she does play in the middle as a defender, it's so difficult to track where these hitters are going. You have to be so dialed in as a blocker. Smrek will step to the right side. That's a big block in front of Landfair. Really limited with her options up front. Temi Thomas Ilara goes long. It's a break for Minnesota with Temi Thomas Ilara one on one trying to go for high hands, but in that situation, just try to crush that, crush that ball to the middle of the court. That's the first error for Temi Thomas Ilara. They have not missed the Badgers offensively. They were hitting over 500 at the break there offensively, all cylinders. Sarah Franklin throws in a bomb. Murr runs it down. Minnesota still alive. Smack. Looks to finish it. Lamper sends it over. Ojo with the set to Ilara. Physical as she is. Goes cut shot. And then Walker looks to roll it. That ball lands in. And a tough way to go down for Minnesota despite some great defense on their side. And the hustle plays from Kylie Murr chasing a ball down and then picking up a really tough ball. In these transition plays, though, Minnesota has to stay aggressive and keep continuing to hit at the edges. Don't mix in those roll shots. Cece Crawford with the short float serve, setting up the point. No touch there. Wooker now feeling the pressure. Timeout called for the Gophers, who now trail by five. A satisfied-looking Kelly Sheffield as the Badgers remain dominant in Madison. Creativity here in Madison, Wisconsin, and on Wednesday on the Big Ten Network, it's another top 20 showdown when Wisconsin takes on Purdue. Coverage begins at 7 Eastern on the Big Ten Network and also streaming on the Fox Sports app. Hey, Bucky, participating in the Price is Right. Love the costumes, guys. And serve miss into the net for CeCe Crawford. Getting ambitious with that short serve, serve attempt. You love it when your middles can serve the way that CeCe Crawford can with that height. And normally you don't see middles trying to throw in that short serve, but Caroline Crawford, she's got great ball control. She normally hits that. Well, she is amongst the shortest in the front row for Wisconsin at six foot two, which is hilarious to say. Zeynep Palabiak with the serve for Minnesota and Wisconsin answering right back. A 10-5 lead for them as Robinson and Ashburn check back into the lineup. Ashburn back to serve. Ashburn, one of the best servers in Wisconsin program history. This is exactly who they want on that end line to try to stretch this lead even further.
It's a rocket of a serve from Ashburn. Out to Wooker, who fires away through the block. Sarah Franklin missed it. Wooker bringing some heat on that ball, trying to claw this team out of a hole. She wants to put the team on her back in these situations. In the big moment, she is asking for that ball, demanding for the ball. Look at the improvement from last year to this one. She spoke about that this week, saying that confidence was the biggest difference. She's no longer afraid to go out and take a big swing. She's also stepped into that six rotation role. Not as easy to do, but then Carter Booth and Devin Robinson put up an absolute wall. If you're a hitter against these two, where do you go? You try to hit the edges, whether that's high or maybe on the right side, her fingertips, but you can't go right directly into Carter Booth because it'll come right back at you. Carter Booth, her dad, spent 10 seasons in the NBA, current general manager of the Denver Nuggets. So we also see where her blocking genes come from. A couple of NBA ties. Minnesota gets the point in the serve as Hansen checks back into the lineup. Challenge from Kelly Sheffield calling on the crowd. Kelly Sheffield actually pointed to the crowd asking them <laughs> whether it was in or out. They have a couple of cards in the fan section as well, some green cards to, to cue Kelly Sheffield when he should challenge and when he shouldn't. You love to see the fan engagement here in Madison. There's nothing else like it. There's no other atmosphere like this one in the Big Ten. I love the trust that he has in those fans too, the one right on the end line. He's pointing to them like, hey, was that ball in or out? They told him it was in. Taking a look at this ball, if any part of the ball touches the end line, it's in. Oh but I'd like to see it from the down the line angle. Nope, it was long, just missed. <laughs> Our uh, third referee here today in the crowd did not approve of said call. So Julia Hansen will continue to serve. Athletic family for her, mentioned her brother in the MLB mix. Father also played sports in college. Into the net goes Devin Robinson. And a little bit of life here for the Gophers. How do they run with it? The biggest thing they have to do is manage the ball from the end line, get your serve in offensively. Keep that ball in play. Julia Hansen was described as a swift Swiss Army knife by her coach. Said she could throw her in any role. And she excels. That serve just long though. Tough momentum break for the Gophers. If you're trying to claw your way back in a match, the biggest thing you have to do is be low air. You have to keep the pressure on the other side. Yulia Ojo back to serve. It's a nice float serve on the line. Shaftmaster with a gutsy set. It works from Prowl on the right side pin. What did you like the most about that setting choice from Shaftmaster? Lauren Prowl's been heating up. She checked into that second set right away, made a difference for Minnesota. Shaftmaster has to continue to find her. Seven kills for Kral. Ashburn digs it up. Guchtekin out to Franklin. Why wouldn't you? Because she does that. Sarah Franklin makes these balls look so easy. And it is so difficult to put a ball down against Minnesota, who has one of the better liberos in the entire country. But Sarah Franklin, she can just go up and over these blockers. Watch how high she gets up there, going over them. 16 kills for Sarah Franklin. You mentioned at the top of the show, Emily, Big Ten Player of the Year numbers. She's putting that up in this match here. That ball floats long for MJ Hamill. The numbers that Franklin's putting up as well are even more impressive because of the balance that Wisconsin has. Running this 6-2 system, they have an additional tacker that most teams don't have running a traditional 5-1. So the numbers she's putting up, even more impressive. McGee back to serve for the Gophers. MJ Hamill sends it to the middle. Landfair goes over and blows up Guchikin. Attempted to be saved by Sarah Franklin. Ball is ruled out of bounds. And so Minnesota showing life down two. Minnesota chipping away at that lead, just keeping the ball in play, forcing the pressure on the Badgers. Closest the set has been since the scoreline read 3-1 earlier on in set three. Oh, and Smith. Smack putting a little extra something on that ball.
ball. If Smirk is in this kind of window on a perfect pass, she is in rhythm, in tempo. Boom, that ball goes down quick. No one's picking that up. Even if a defender was there, that ball seems like it's going straight down every time. Wow. Smirk, so impressive. And that's what touching 11-2 gets you. Just wide there and a nice tool from Landfair. Wisconsin, to me, has done an excellent job of neutralizing Landfair, despite Landfair having some good numbers here tonight. She has not had any opportunity to work with. And then Sarah Franklin answers back. So the Gophers get one, and then Wisconsin rolls back and gets it back. Sarah Franklin explosive out of that backcourt. After that play, Keegan Cook actually looked like he might pull the challenge card out to test that 10-foot line violation, but he put it back down. Cece Crawford, the middle blocker, back to serve. That was a nice serve on Landfair. Struggles to get back up quickly. Landfair had no blockers. Misconnected, though, on the tempo. And then Anna Smrek. She can run the middle. She can run the high tempo on the pin. Anna Smrek, six foot nine, touches 11-2. Timeout call by the Gophers. Have another look as we go to break. Anna Smrek, she's hitting a foot above the Gopher block. Here's a look at the upcoming matchups. What else are you looking forward to here, Emily? Well, two games I'm really looking forward to, those games at Penn State where Nebraska visits and Wisconsin visit. I know Penn State took a tough loss last night, but that is a tough team to beat at home. And that's the voice of Emily Eamon. I'm Michelle McMahon bringing you the action here. College volleyball on Fox. Julia Hansen in the front row. The Swiss Army knife finding the hole. Why not? She has nothing to lose. Hansen last season, she was usually at that opposite spot on the right side. They know what she can do up front, normally in a DS role this season, but they do trust her at the net when she has to be up there. Rex goes with a tip. That was her only option on that shot. McGee goes over. Free ball attempt. Wisconsin finishes on the hand of Carter Booth. Beautiful set from MJ Hamill. About five, six feet off the net. She still trusts her middle to continue to run that route, and she can get her going even on that gap off the net. Wisconsin volleyball. They have been on the rise since Kelly Sheffield took over. 10 straight NCAA tournament, Sweet 16 or better tournament finishes for this program. Four Final Four appearances. And you're seeing why here tonight. Sammy Thomas Ilara goes up against a double block, defended by Minnesota. Tight ball for Hansen. Only option was the tip. She gets Wisconsin in a scramble. And then Ilara tries to blow up Murr, who gets it. Hansen again. Rolls it in the middle, covered by Orgel. Wide for Devin Robinson. She wanted that one. How about the scrappy defense of the Gophers? Kylie Murr is running over everywhere just to keep these balls alive. This is what pressure does. You can get that ball up just as Kylie Murr does on these very difficult swings. You can keep the pressure on the other side, forcing them to try to make a play, which results in the error in the Gopher point. Kylie Murr was the Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year in 2022. She is an incredible defensive staple for this team. Sarah Franklin sprawls out, gets the ball to stay alive for Wisconsin. Free ball for Minnesota. What will they do with it? Hansen attempts. Ojo all over it. Robinson gets blocked. Wisconsin back in transition. Ilara goes back to that cut shot. Gets Murr just outside her body. The effort from the backcourt of Wisconsin has been the difference tonight. They're picking everything up on some of these hard balls going off the block. They are putting in that hard work, just showing how much grit this team has. How about six foot four Sarah Franklin laying out? Usually that's the little's responsibility to be the ninjas in the back row. You love to see it. What a story, Sarah Franklin. Guchtikin with a nasty serve. Hansen swinging away. Guchtikin keeps it alive. But what an effort from 21. Gucci can again with a perfect dig right to the target. 
And no touch called there for Wisconsin, but you love the defensive pursuit from the six foot four gals and the five foot one gals. And Wisconsin's backcourt doing everything they Look can to keep these balls alive. So quick and explosive. That's what makes a good back row player to have the ability to pick up anything. Wuljay Guchikit out of Istanbul, Turkey. 11 digs for her on the match so far. Franklin loads up, gets another kill, almost dug up by Shaftmaster. Sarah Franklin will not be denied. As the season has gone on, Sarah Franklin has gotten better and better. That's so difficult in this conference when you're playing some of the best teams night in and night out, but her numbers continue to skyrocket. 18 kills for Sarah Franklin and an amazing service pursuit from Yulia Orjo. Keegan Cook looking for answers. Tough task. This just shows you how dominant Wisconsin is. Minnesota in a scramble. Landfair looks to bail them out. What a dig from Gooch to get. Devin Robinson tips it over. Only option. Crowell goes big off the block, dug up by Orgel, and a set over by Ashburn. Landfair bails out her team, and the Gophers crawl back within four. Defensive intensity picking up on both sides. Incredible pancake over on the Gophers side. Sneaking that hand under right away. Melanie Shaftmaster with another impressive up. Taylor Landfair just finds those fingertips to finish it off. 12th kill of the match for Landfair. Murr back to serve for the Gophers. What a pass there from Yulia Orgel. And Franklin buries another 19 kills for her. The most kills in a Big Ten match for her this season. We're only three sets into this one, Michelle. An incredible play from Sarah Franklin. Just seeing that block so well in front of her. MJ Hamill back to serve for the Badgers. Kelly Sheffield, one of the best coaches in all of college volleyball. His players love him. The community loves him. Minnesota, Landfair goes over. Crawford steps in for the set, and Franklin finds the corner. Sarah Franklin mixing up these shots so well. She is just picking apart Minnesota's defense, putting it in the exact place that they're not. 20 kills for Sarah Franklin. We're not even done with the third set. Crowell swings big, just wide. Wisconsin, two points away from taking the match. That's what a disciplined block does up front. It forces those hitters to try to hit shots. MJ Hamill back to serve. Free ball and a free opportunity for the Badgers. And a smack gets denied by Taylor Landfair. That block has to feel good if you're Landfair. Taylor Landfair knows as this team's trying to claw their way back, they have to put in a little bit extra effort to everything they're doing, whether that's pushing more on the block, being disciplined defensively. They've got work to do. Elise McGee checks back into the lineup. Backup setter for Minnesota. Franklin looked to find the middle. What an outstanding dig from Kylie Murr. Down the line, Sarah Franklin. She will go any angle on you and find a kill. Sarah Franklin is willing her team to win this game. Doing an incredible job hyping this crowd up. Match point for Wisconsin. Ilara looks to end it. She won't. 
Minnesota, Jack Master stands tall on the block. Minnesota trying to dig deep and defensively do anything they can to try to slow down this Wisconsin front line. Minnesota fends off one match point. Can they hold on for six more points? Landfair with all the pressure on her serve. Shaftmaster takes matters into her own hands once more. The tip almost falls for Hansen. Ilara pounds it back over. Hansen again finds the outside of the block. And Sarah Franklin gets a big rip out of the back row. Orjo finds Ilara off the block, covered by Smrek. Shaftmaster back to Hansen, swinging her way out of trouble. You love to see the gutsy choice of Julie Hansen. And this is Kelly Sheffield during that point, watching it all unfold. This is what happens in long rallies. That heart rate starts to skyrocket, <laughs> Michelle. Let us into the scout room with us before the match. Love the way he coaches this team. And the tool will finish it. Tammy Thomas Ilara will end this one, and the border battle is complete for now. The Wisconsin Badgers take it in three. A 25-19 finish in set number three.